Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. Let's talk about this market outlook for this week. A week of no promo going on. We have some SBCs, of course. We got the coin drain before what could be Foot Birthday later this week. It would make sense if it was. We talked about that in yesterday's video, uh, if you want to go and check that out. But we got that coin drain SBC, so fodder is up. And there was some panic selling on the market coupled with weekend league sell-off. And you had some interesting price movements yesterday on Sunday. But I want to take a look ahead from that and what could also happen this week. This week, there's a lot of potential, you know, market movements, upgrades to uh, the what-if cards. We have League One Player of the Month that we could, be, could be coming out. We have St. Patrick's Day. Not a lot of people are talking about that. More Champions League action and hopefully those Road to the Final upgrades that EA decided they're going to do differently uh, this time. And then, of course, hopefully a loading screen and Foot Birthday coming this Friday because, of course, Friday the 19th again is the 12-year anniversary of FIFA Ultimate Team. So let's start from the top. What happened yesterday? We'll talk about this really fast uh, because I know a lot of you guys um, maybe interacted with this content that was released on Sunday. We had two new Icon SBCs released. I was kind of expecting this to come out at some point, right? They dropped the bronze and silver upgrades along with the 82 to 88. So this is kind of EA saying, hey, if you want to grind this from the ground up, you can do BPM into the bronze upgrade to the silver upgrade, get your commons, go to the 82 to 88, and then try to get high enough rated players to grind this prime icon or mid or prime icon upgrade that is repeatable. So they keep, as we go throughout the year, if you've noticed this, they keep kind of upgrading the SBCs. This is the first prime icon upgrade SBC that we have gotten. And of course, according to Footbin, price check in this, 625,000 coins. And that is almost how much the mid or prime costs. It's about 589 for the mid or prime repeatable upgrade. But for the one time prime, 625K. A lot of people did this SBC yesterday. I saw some really good ones. We opened we opened a couple on stream. There were some good ones, like we got Dog Leash, we got Rio, but then there were some bad ones. We got Vieri, uh, and we got Carl's Puyo on one of them too. So kind of, again, the weight on these, it's definitely not a player pick, and it is a lot cheaper than that. Uh, but this, of course, people are just in love with SBCs, especially Icon Upgrade SBCs. And uh, this is out for 13 days, so that's going to be, again, a little bit more consistent demand for SBC fodder. So if you held your stuff from where it maybe bounced up a little bit from its lowest point earlier this last week, if you held your fodder, GG's, because it is, again, going up a little bit higher with, you know, Unless EA drops some sort of like flash promo or St. Patrick's Day something on us in the next day or two, I would just imagine that fodder after squad battle rewards tonight probably just continues to creep up as you have people crafting Messi, these other player SBCs that are out, um, you know, probably another flashback player or moments something uh, throughout the week this week, I would expect, um, you know, they've been putting out like Cavani, we have Joe Hart flashback cards, I don't know when Joe Hart goes away, probably not too far uh, Cruz is still out as well. He's about to expire in one day. So, you know, probably another some sort of player SBC coming out this week that you could try to craft. People might be trying to craft as well, uh, along with these not so good value showdown cards. But uh, that's kind of where our content was yesterday. Now, of course, 600k SBC, that is going to cause some panic. So we've seen a little bit of a rebound from where some of the panic was. But you guys know this, of course, this guy Neymar's back up to 500k. When the SBC was dropped on Sunday, he went all the way down to 470 and has now bounced back up. There's a lot of stuff that took a dip and then is now coming back. And that is a lot of stuff that, that I bought. I bought Diada at about 150K. I bought a Sancho almost at 1.1 mil. That was a nice undercut. And a lot of stuff, baby icons, out of packs icons, primes, and moments were uh, good fluctuations as well. I bought this Akanji at 520K. A couple of these icons, I'm waiting for them to get a little bit more rare. And then I think they will sell tonight. I bought a Benzema at 320 or 319, something like that. Uh, so I think a lot of these cards are going to rebound up a little bit, even though there's like, there's not a lot to play for during the week, right? Some of these cards, they just got panic sold so much that that panic selling stops and they naturally just go a little bit higher because there's not people undercutting each other constantly. Uh, so there was a little bit of panic yesterday and a slight bit of rebound from that. But let's talk about what could happen this week because there's honestly a lot of like small things that could happen this week that could impact the market. Starting it off today on Monday, not entirely sure what we're going to get. Last week, of course, if you remember, was the famous day of foot player days where they dropped the loading screen one hour before it was going to start. And they said, hey, here's a pack promo. So 
I'm not expecting anything like that, but you know, maybe EA and history repeat themselves this week with some sort of like St. Patrick's Day promo. And that's one thing that I wanna talk about too is we have had some sort of St. Patrick's Day content for the past couple years in FIFA. I don't know if you guys remember in FIFA 20, we had a couple SBC sections and even uh, like a kit, Icon Moments Keen, Loan Card, Objective, Icon Moments Best, Loan, which isn't too much. But last year, what we had, we had a player pick SBC for called the Boys in Green. And you could choose between Aiden McGinney's flashback, Shane Long flashback, and a Seamus Coleman flashback uh, card item. So they didn't like have to add any pack code specifically for uh, the, yeah, just right here, these flashback card design. Those were the ones that were dropped last year. So that was sort of like a, a St. Patrick's Day SBC that was put out last year. And then of course, they did require Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland players last year um, as a part of a couple different like pack SBCs. So last year, those cards actually went up. Now I'm assuming right now that a lot of that stuff is inflated on the market. Now, I don't really mess around with, um, you know, the, I don't know, I don't really mess around with like investing in potential SBC stuff, but you know, probably gold uh, cards like this, this Coleman are up a little bit right now, just in case there is going to be some St. Patrick stuff happening. I'm not entirely sure about that, but that could happen, right? I'm not expecting anything other than an SBC or two, but I think there is possibility if EA wanted to do something, they could. Now that is on Wednesday, but even before that, a couple things that are coming this week. Of course, League One Player of the Month. I'm going to pull up the webpage right now because we've talked about it a little bit. I put a TikTok out a couple days ago on the potential winners of this. I think this is going to be coming out on Thursday. It's either going to be on uh, Tuesday or Thursday of this week. We have three big time nominees. Of course, the uh, vote is now closed. You've got Depay, Mbappe, or Ben Yedder winning this player of the month. So it's an automatic W, honestly, because Depay, if we look at his special cards, his player of the month is probably going to be 89 rated. Mbappe, of course, is going to be a big, big SPC for Mbappe. And then Ben Yedder, 88, 89, maybe 90 rated if they jump over the headliner, which I'm not sure if they'll do or not. Um, but a big time SBC coming this week for either of these three players, I think it'll be a W. Now, of course, with Player of the Month League One, it's almost like whoever is the least favorite player, like the least popular player, seems to win. But honestly, again, with this selection, it's it's kind of a W either way. Now, of course, we got Bulaya. Um, three days remaining on this card. That would make me think that that SBC might come on Thursday. So this Bulaya was like the least of the one that we thought was gonna be voted in last time with like Neymar and Voland. So this time, if I had to choose, it's probably gonna be Depay or Ben Yedder um, based off of, you know, I, we looked at the stats earlier in stream and I honestly think that Ben Yedder, Mbappe has a good chance, um, but Ben Yedder I think would be like the quote unquote favorite maybe. Who knows, man, the voting for this and the fan vote is crazy for League One Player of the Month. It literally does not make sense. But Regardless, all three of those players are pretty valuable depending on where EA priced the SBC. If they make it pretty cheap, even though fodder is a bit you know, inflated now, not crazy high, but up a little bit, that might be some sort of SBC you could craft during a foot birthday promo when that does come out through upgrade picks and packs and stuff like that. So watch out. We might have a player of the month Mbappe and a player of the month Messi SBC in FIFA at the same time. How crazy would that be? The ability to craft those two cards uh, at the same time for your team untradeable for the rest of the year if you really wanted to that's kind of insane so that's coming this week um, so maybe expect a little bit of a fodder rise um, if that SBC comes out and it is valuable and at a good price good value I guess we could say but road to the final is another thing that's happening this week now of course we didn't get the upgrades on Friday night we got more Champions League games on deck. You have guys that are probably going to start investing in these Road to the Final cards. Uh, you know, Cancelo was down, I think, around like 400K today, and he's actually back up. He's back to 450. So people started buying this stuff back up again, of course, expecting some movements this week uh, with Champions League games slated on deck. So you got Wijnaldum, or sorry, Cancelo at 449. Now, this is like the most popular card for this week. Uh, that has a game. Now, yesterday in the panic selling, he went down to 420 and now he's back up to 450, which makes sense because obviously people are going to buy this up pre-game. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, one thing I will say is for the teams that lose, right? We've seen it now twice with um, 
the teams that have lost in the past week. If we take a look at the games that are upcoming this week, we've got City and Muchen Gladbach, of course. You've got Zakaria and uh, Cancelo, a couple of the items that are in game in play there. You've got Real Madrid with um, the main man Hazard as a live item. You've got Bayern Munich and Lazio, Chelsea, Atletico Madrid. Now, of course, you have the showdown matchup for Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, um, and you have Oblox road to the final. But watch. I think Zakaria is the one that I'm the most interested in, or maybe even Oblak. Um, if the team, if a card that is on the team that loses, like we had uh, Klosterman and Griezmann from last week, those cards got sold off really quickly post game, and then they shot up because they were still, you know, decently usable cards, and they really got bought up and they exploded. Right, Klosterman went from he was at 280,000 coins. He went back up to almost 400,000 coins before getting panic sold down today to around like 340, and he's now chilling at 350. So, you know, keep an eye on like this Zakaria card. Um, if he starts going pretty low mid game, I think he's like 150K right now. This guy, 140K, this guy is a pretty good looking card. Now, of course, he does have a bit of extra hype right now because of the links to uh, the. And Babu what if cards. So if this guy gets down closer to like a hundred thousand coins in sell-off during the game, I feel like this card is gonna maintain some sort of value because of that Mbabu and the Akanji strong links that he has, and because he looks pretty meta and he's pretty good in game. So we might see some sort of bounce back on a card like this too. More fluctuations post game, kind of like Klosterman. So just keep an eye on, on that one. Uh, because I think a lot of people like uh that card. But speaking of more upgrades, I think those cards, Akanji. Cancelo, of course, I'm not saying that City's going to go through, um, although I do I do think they are, but uh, I'm not trying to like lock that in already because obviously it hasn't happened yet. But uh, these Akanji, the Draxler, the PSG, the Dortmund cards that won from last week, and then whoever wins from this week should be getting upgraded on Friday night. I know I said that last week, but I think EA, since that upgrade last time happened uh, after just the first round, if they won that first leg in um the quarterfinal or sorry the round of 16 that they were going to get upgraded on the spot and since EA, ea did not do that same upgrade pattern with these cards this week or last week because i think they were just waiting to see all the teams progress through then they'll give the upgrades out so it's going to be an interesting situation this friday night if we do have a new promo because we'll have the whole new promo a lot of stuff going on with that and then Road to the Final, Champions League, and Europa League upgrades happening this Friday. So I think that's almost set in stone, guaranteed. Uh, this last Friday was expected, but I guess EA had different plans. So that's kind of the Road to the Final upgrade situation. And then again, what if upgrades? We have a couple more of these getting upgraded. We got Ricardo Perea because Leicester had a clean sheet. So this guy is a little bit up in price. Berchiche kept a clean sheet. He's up in price a little bit right now. And then Odegaard for Arsenal. Uh, they got their goal allotment uh, because of a penalty that uh, Lacazette made on my beloved Spurs. We played awful, by the way. If you guys watched that game, Lamella with an absolute beauty, right? Goal of the year contender, people are saying. And uh, we couldn't, we played off. We didn't deserve to win that game. Anyways, um, this guy's getting upgraded too. He was like 430K today post game with a panic selling. This card's going to look nuts. Five star skills. Uh, going to a 90 rated. I mean, his pace, his shot, dribbling, passing, going even higher. It's going to be a crazy uh, cracked out card. So that card's getting upgraded. So is Mr. Sancho because Dortmund scored a couple goals over the weekend. Now I've got one of these that I bought at 1.1, right around 1.1 mil. And this guy is kind of weird. He just does not want to fluctuate much in price, but he doesn't have a lot of supply. So if there's not a lot of content that happens throughout the week this week, you might see these what if cards continually gradually rise up into Wednesday before they would be getting their upgrades. Now let's talk about what could happen at the end of the week, right? End of the week, foot birthday. That is kind of the quote unquote plan, or that's what seems to be the thing that would make the most sense, the content, the promo that we should see. I mean, two weeks without a promo from EA Sports seems very, very unlikely to me. So I think that we do get a promo this weekend, whether it's foot birthday or whether it's not. Foot birthday makes the most sense. And EA, j just like future stars, EA in the past have really loved to really hype up foot birthday. So, you know, sometimes we see loading screens on like Wednesdays. That's usually a little bit early, but then Thursdays for sure, we start seeing those. You know, with future stars, we saw loading screens like right away outside of when team of the year ended. We might have a loading screen if they're really doing foot birthday. We might start seeing loading screens early and often of this week if they're really trying to pump that promo. 
and get us excited for it. I mean, even as Tuesday, early is as early as Tuesday, we could see a loading screen if EA really wanted to start hyping things up. So that's all I'm saying is watch out for the loading screens this week. I feel like the market this week is probably going to stay pretty chill. I don't think a lot of people are going to be doing too much in terms of like trying out that many cards, maybe a couple of the new um, upgrades that you see for what ifs. There'll be a little bit of price movements around those, maybe some of the League One Player of the Month stuff. Uh, but if there's not a lot of content this week, if EA doesn't drop anything as a surprise, I do expect the market to maybe just kind of rise in some areas. But also, if we do get confirmation of Foot Birthday coming, I do think you will start to see more of a sell off, you know, especially on some of these prime icon moments that are down a little bit now because of the panic today and, of course, weekly sell off in general. Um, but some of these cards, I think you'll see a little bit more sell off on because Foot Birthday is known, again, as a very hyped up promo with really, really good content. So I think you will see a bit of sell off when Foot Birthday is confirmed, if that does happen at some point this week. So, you know, icon moments are going to be great to trade with this week because people are still trying these cards out, right? There's a lot of cards to try. They get super rare on the market and you can get a crazy high sale at some times. And, um, you know, people just hype these up because they're going out and they're trying them, especially if there's not a lot to do. Like last week, there wasn't a ton to do in the midweek. Of course, we did have the whole player days promo, but some people got pretty bored of that. So they went out and they tried some of these. I they were great to fluctuation trade with because they're still decently rare on the market. And uh, there's a lot of them that are pretty hyped. So people are trying them out. Now, of course, your out of packs, your rare special cards are going to continue to fluctuate as well. And uh, just again, if you're going to be trying and trading with stuff this week, make sure you focus on like what's hot in the game, right? The what if upgrades, those are popular. You know, some of the headliner cards that could possibly be in team of the week, like Benzema or a guy like Hyunmin Sun, who of course lost today on the potential three if they would have won today this would have been a card that would have gotten upgraded uh sun was down to 750 and it looks like right now he's still hanging around 800k so a big time drop off on the sonaldo card but yeah right i feel like this whole entire week there are some things that could happen but it just feels like another week where we are just yearning and we are wanting a promo and hopefully ea drops that promo for full birthday this week is an l if we don't get full birthday on friday in my opinion we kind of need ea sports drop it all right it's late march again it's the perfect time to drop not late march middle march it's the perfect time to drop that promo later on this week so that's where i think a lot of the attention a lot of the focus is going to be on we'll see if ea switches it up at all but again the main thing right now about, you know, people's clubs is we're waiting for that next promo and the saved up packs. We're going to talk a lot about those later this week. If there are some issues um, or not issues, but if there are some loading screens and stuff tweeted out, because that would be almost guaranteed, I would say that you're going to have a lot of supply during that first bit of the promo this Friday, which I think there should be one. So that's kind of what we're thinking for this week's market outlook. I know I had to cover a lot of stuff. Trading this week is going to be maybe a little bit of a grind. But again, at this stage of the game, we say it almost every single week. Bids are your best friend. You're going to make coins off of bids. Find your rare cards that people like to, um, you know, try out that are rare on the market. Like Kulusevsky is one of the future stars that I like watching his price fluctuate. This Kane, I like watching his price fluctuate because he always has a little bit of demand. His card moves around a decent amount and um, it's very flippable. So open bids, out of pack specials, out of packs icons, flips, SBC fodder, the what if cards. That's where I would be focusing um, my efforts this week, unless EA have a surprise for us. So that's kind of the market outlook for this week, right? We're waiting to see what that promo is going to be on Friday and um, we'll see what happens. Of course, Play of the month this week could be pretty big as well, depending on how how much they price that SBC at and who wins. But that's the market outlook for this week, boys. To be completely honest with you, we're kind of waiting for that Friday and to see what happens on FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.